Uh, I get regular emails from Musical Theatre International, which is the publishing company that has all the rights and royalties to the musicals. And it, it, it was just a few days before the film was released that I got an email that said Les Miserables rights are released, available for amateur or community theater use. And of course my first thought is, oh, that'd be cool to do. And then in the summer, when we were working on Oklahoma last year, I get a email from Real Time Music Solutions that says the backing track computer software program is available for Les Miserables. And I remember specifically seeing Jim Wiseman, he was building the set for Oklahoma. I, I talked to Jim and said, uh, Sinfonia has the music for Les Mis. I think we can do this. And his answer was, why not? And so once that occurred, that I realized, okay, the royalties are available, the music's available for the for the backing track. This is doable here. Well, we have a procedure. That we that we use for each season. Kerry Goff, our artistic director, uh, will present the board with a series of alternatives. And I remember building the proposal because we do alternates for every show, and it was like, this is going to seem weird because it's going to stack the deck in the favor of Les Mis because. How can you pick any other show but Les Mis? You know, it's Les Mis or Bye Bye Birdie or Les Mis and Music Man. I mean, there's no comparison. 